What's up, everybody? Destin Legary here. It is a lovely Friday, Alfredo. That it is, and today is Zer Day. It is Zer Day. We're going to go see what he has. Yeah. He's, uh, he's, he's on the here. right side, the hangar, this mm -hmm. time. Yeah, he's in the hangar. He's hanging out. Oh, God. Get it? Oh, God. That's I knew that, was, I knew that, might have, <laughs> that shot might have been fired. <laughs> I had to do it. I had to do it. <laughs> um, I'm happy for one thing Ouch. that seems unusual more than... More than okay, yeah. Okay, so let's talk about the the best thing in his inventory this week. The best thing in his inventory <laughs> this week is heavy <laughs> ammo synthesis. Right, all my strange coins are in the vault, but Hands that doesn't down. matter. We're just looking. Hands down, the yeah. thank you, thank you, Budgie Gods. <laughs> um, yeah, buy a bunch of them. Um, they're just important to have for nightfalls, weeklies. Uh, I run a lot of uh, speed runs on Crota's end, so that's mm -hmm. super, super needed for me. Definitely. Um, it's nice to see Monte Carlo's back. If you didn't get your upgrade last time, take the time and upgrade it. Jeez. I can't even get it as a drop. Um, um, before we break into the, the exotic gear, let's just go down to the... Um, the curios? The telemetries. Um, we yeah. got scout rifle, shotguns, and sniper rifles. Yes, yeah. there we go. And, and then you got your drives. Yeah. These are cosmetic mostly. I mean, and they enhance huh? your sparrow, but they're not... 23 strange coins for those? But at this point, though, you like, get so coins are so easy to come by. I guess. I think that's a ripoff. They should be, like, 10. They should be 10. I anyway. mean, the only other way is Like, this helmet's through, like, 13, a, a raid, but, like, you know making I mean? my bike purple is 23? <laughs> come on. Come on, Bungie. Sort it. And out. the uh, no Ingram this week. No Ingram. That's interesting. Usually it's here, and it's a helmet yeah. Ingram. You can use Motes of Light to purchase it. Nothing. Know. As you can I see, Alfredo, like I am stacking thing. marks. Do you know why I'm doing this? Why? The next piece of content that comes out, just in case. Just in case? Just in case. I'm just going to stack these up and hold on to them. <laughs> You're a smart man. Let's jump into the gear. We've kind of been uh, all over the place. Insert mountable skull fort. Let's Tell take a look at the perks on this. The Titan is your main. Titan main on Xbox. Oh, there you go. That's right. Uh, it's got infusion, which replenishes health. Uh, it's got impact induction for the induction for the punch bros. And then you got another punch bros perk here. Uh, you know, it helps with health regen. And it reduces your grenade cooldown. This could be r decent in multiplayer. Like, if you get a punch kill, then you can toss a grenade really yeah. quick. And then this is going to, you know, restore your health a little faster. Yeah. Um, Moving yeah. on, the Lucky Raspberry. Oh, the infamous man. Lucky Raspberry oh, that some man. people buy accidentally. Oh, uh, you can carry more <laughs> fusion rifle ammo, more, more heavy, heavy ammo, or lose heavy ammo. I Please mean, fix that, Bungie. I, I, fix yeah, that. Ugh. Um, yeah. I mean, like I'm a, I like using the fusion rifle, like a plan, the plan cheese. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's not bad for that. So it's not bad for that, but I'm never gonna use like this over the symbiote helmet, the four golden gunshot, That's like true. session like PvP. Yeah, and then uh, arc bolt grenade also. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so actually, it wasn't lucky raspberry; it was alpha lupi. That's what I bought accidentally. Oh, that's right. Starfire. Okay. This one actually looks pretty cool. You know, what? So yeah, I'm gonna I mean, I'm gonna hop out really quick. Now, I bought a chess piece last week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was Starfire Protocol. I think this is the same chess piece as last <laughs> week. Damn. Cool. Well. I, can, I, can, I can't. I don't want to confirm that, but I'm pretty sure I bought this last week. Uh, anyway, fusion yeah. rifle ammo, heavy weapon ammo, and... There's no fusion get, made. Yeah. So Some if you're like tossing those annoying So that'd be grenades. three grenades. This is a great chess piece if is you're going to solo uh, Crota. Max out at two. Oh, wait. Just fusion grenade? Mm-hmm. Mm. That's true. All right. Yeah, I've been on a warlock in the longest. So then you can have the floaty thing where you float in the air and then have two grenades still. Float in the air for PvE, not for PvE. <laughs> Don't do true. it. True. Uh, last word. So a lot of questions about this one, Alfredo. Yes. People were like, so people were like Jose was texting us and Fran was texting yeah. us, should I get this? Is it worth it? This is one of the best weapons to use in PvP. It's not... That great in PVE. If you're gonna want to, if you want to go for a hand cannon PVE, go for the Fate Bringer. But okay. the kill time on the last word is ridiculous. This is an automatic hand cannon, and the stability and the range look a little a little off. But um, you do have a mod right here mm -hmm. um, for hit fire. hit fire accuracy right here. Actually, let me take this over. There you go. Alfredo's was gonna drive. Um, yeah. So this is what we're, uh, we're looking at. Hit fire accuracy, really, really good. And then from here, um, the clear option is the stability mod extremely low recoil and then you have bonus uh, last word which is bonus 
uh, damage and stability, extra precision damage when firing from the hip. Um, and then you want to go ahead and slap on aggressive ballistics just to get that impact. Um, okay, and that's harder. for PvP, right? Uh, and this is a PV a sole PvP weapon. The kill time on this is extremely fast. Yeah. Um, Everybody's of, rocking it in PvP right now. So, yeah. Um, I actually roll with a guy named I Am Zero, uh, Debbie, and a guy named Fizzer, and they're all top 10 ranked PvP. Yeah. And this is their go-to weapon. Nice. Um, and they are, I can't keep up. They're ridiculous. So you're saying this, but what about like Thorn? Is Thorn good? Thorn is or also Hawk really Moon on PlayStation. Oh, Hawk Moon is the goat. The okay. greatest of all time. Okay. Like so if Hawk you have Moon, Hawk Moon, you're if good. If you're on PlayStation, yeah. like, use the Hawk Moon. That's okay. the bee's knees. Got like, it. 100%. Got but it. But this, I would say, is my second go-to. Okay. The Thorn, also really, really good. The only reason why I, I choose this over the Thorn is the fact that even with poison damage, yeah. you can hit someone twice in the, in the body with a Thorn, yeah. have them still bleed out. Mm -hmm. or, um, but they still survive. Okay. Well, not necessarily it will bleed out. But like Hold up. Bleed. Are you saying last words, two body shots and down? No. Okay. I'm saying like... Thor the, Thorn is two body well, shots, and like then the poison shots. kills them. Four shots in the body. But okay. no, the th here's the thing. I get shot twice in the body with a thorn all the time. Yeah. I I get hit with the poison, and I still survive. Oh, really? So for me, I'm just like... Uh, so it's three rounds thrown to down yeah. to down somebody. Yeah, or I think it's like two in the head. What's the fire rate like? I mean, that's that's really the interesting. Fire rate on this is super really, super quick, though. All I mean, right. So, so I mean, honestly, both hand cannons storing the last word are really good. I just prefer the last word because it's just it fires really fast, and it's and yeah, it's like you are, are like this will out gun a Suros up a mid to up close. Okay. In the right hands. 100%. So here's the big question, Alfredo. You know, we're at Zur. Should you buy the last word? Uh, so here's the reason why I think you should buy the last word, um, because. The game changes and you change. Mm -hmm. There was a point in time where I didn't care about any exotics but the ones that I wanted, and that changed. I want to collect all the exo yeah, exotics too. now. Um, some I know um, another big um, like uh, Destiny player, uh, King Gathalion, right? Mm -hmm. He's hardcore PVE, but now he's switching over the PVP. So like. Destiny, uh, I mean, the, the players them themselves change, but also at the same time, guns get nerfed, they get buffed, and, like, yeah. things change in this game. They're constantly evolving or not evolving. I have to say bye also, simply because this is what everybody's using in multiplayer, and if yeah. you hop in with an old loadout, you're going to get wrecked like I do. Yeah, it's, <laughs> this is really good. Um, yeah. um, word of advice when using this, and I learned this from my, my buddy Fizzer, mm -hmm. um, this is the kind of gun you want it. Um, I... It, a lot of PvP players out there have a big urge to ADS, uh, including myself. But you mm -hmm. definitely want to take advantage of hip fire with this weapon. It is very accurate with hip fire. Really? Because um, you go to aim ADS fire. and it takes um, too long to get there. It's just it's very accurate with ADSing, and um, you can honestly lead your shots better. And this is a, a weapon where you want to lead your shot. So um, what I see a lot of the top players do, and I'm trying to like. <laughs> in order to catch up, I'm trying to analyze yeah. and see what they do. And, um, a good friend of mine, Fizz, told me that you know ADS your your first handful of shots and then finish them off with. I mean, hip fire your first handful of shots, then finish them off with that ADS. Okay. And uh, I started doing that yesterday, and it works wonders. Nice, yeah. nice. Well, thanks, Alfredo. Thanks for the multiplayer tips. Maybe I'll try that yeah, out. No well, I mean, I, I I'm learning from people who are very very knowledgeable and very very good at PvP. So it's like yeah. it's just handing off knowledge at this point. Cool. Well, thanks for joining us, everybody, and thank you, Alfredo, of course. And for more on Destiny, you're already in the right place. IGN. By the way, check out our podcast. Oh, totally yeah. Totally forgot to plug our <laughs> podcast. Fireteam Chat on IGN. We launched episode zero. Yes, it was kind of just like, how is the audience going to respond to this? Yeah. Uh, we got a ton of support and email ton on email, Twitter ton and on everything. Twitter, yeah. Hop in those comments and tell those oh, the constant. Yeah. So Negative. here's the thing. Here's yeah. the thing, guys. Like, if you guys want this to, to be longer than 30 minutes, if you want this to be a constant thing, mm -hmm. you have to voice your opinion. You have to stand up and, yeah. and, and voice yourself. Because right now, especially in the IGN comment section, mm -hmm. the people who don't like Destiny are way louder than the people who like Destiny. Yeah. And and we want to have a conversation with uh, the fans like us. Yeah. You know, and that that's why we're doing the podcast. So, yeah, hop in there and uh, give it a listen. Let us know what you think. And for more on Destiny, you are in the right place. IGN.